about his teaching. And whenever we listen from the Lotus Mouth of the our Guru Devs, we were listening, discussing yesterday. How Ramanacharya he defeated the opinion of monism and like this he established Shuddha Bhakti. Ramana Jachari, he is the Acharya of Shri Sampradaya. So after taking sannyas, he preached everywhere in India. So by seeing his preaching, by seeing his preaching, the Advaita Vadis they are like jealous and envious. So these people of philosophers of Shankara, my Vadis, they were against him. I told the all acharyas of the four sampradayas they only have one goal one goal how to defeat this mayavad philosophy this specialty of ramanujacharya because if we still have in our hearts the heart of the jiva if it is still the jiva is thinking aham brahmasmi i am god Shuddha Bhakti never will come to her heart. Chaitanya Charitam Takrishna Skavaraj Goswami also explains. If your heart is contaminated by the Mayavad philosophy, your heart is like hard like a stone, very hard. And the very soft Bhakti Devi cannot sit in your heart. So to purify the heart of the Sadhika, to be far from this Mayavad philosophy, all these four Acharya, four Acharyas, Ramananda Acharya, Dimbadita, Vishnu Sana, and Acharya, all of them they had only one goal. Yeah, 
Ramana Charya, Ramana Charya was preaching. Thousands of people used to gather to listen to his preachings. And everyone, they were surrendering themselves to the lotus feet of Ramana Charya. Many people, because they were so much attracted by his pure philosophy. At that moment, there was one Mayavadi sannyasi called Jagyamurti. He defeated, defeated on challenge uh, Ramana Charya for a Shastra discussion. Ramana Charya was able to defeat this sannyasi in the, in the Shastra discussion. He defeated Ramana Charya defeated this sannyasi in the Shastra discussion. And in this Jagyamurti, this Mayavadi sannyasi, he again took sannyasi mantra and diksha from the Ramana Charya. Became known as Devanath. This sannyasi later became known as Devanath. So, like this, Ramana Charya, he defeated mainly Mayavadi sannyasis and then made them Vaishnavas, giving initiation them in the Vaishnava mantras. Like this, he was preaching Shuddha Bhakti. So at that moment, some people, at that moment, the conception of caste and race was very prominent in India at that time. That's why. When Raman Charaja was giving initiation to many people, before what happened, only the Brahmanas could chant the Brahma Gayatri. The Brahma Gayatri was only given to the Brahmanas. But what Raman Charaja did, he gave Diksha Mantra to many people. So many people didn't like uh, speak, not liking these things. And Ramana Charja, they were against this thing. And Ramana Charja, he showed one logic. He said, the person can take birth in any, any caste, but if the person chants the Diksha Mantra, the heart of the person will be purified. In the same way, the bronze, the bronze, the the bronze is made of iron, and and um, the bronze is made of iron and aluminum. aluminum no, bronze or okay, Bronze. If the bronze, you know, this metal, bronze. Is actually a mixture that can, if if you mix exactly something, the bronze it becomes gold, you know. Bronze one metal, and sometimes you mix a specific thing, this becomes gold. This mixture of metals can even become gold if you add something. That's why Shasti said that the deity, Salagram, and the deities, Narayan Shiva, those think that it's only a stone, it's actually a fence. If you think that deity or the Salagram Shiva is a stone, it's a fence. And also, if you think the Vaishnavas belong to some caste and race, Jata Bodhi, he's from this case, that case, or this. Hari Kahoi. Those who make bhajan to Shihari, they belong to Shihari only. This is true. Like they don't belong to any case or anything, group, they, are, they belong to Hari. So what is your gotra, your lineage? 
Achuta Gotra means the lineage of Achuta. You forgot him, so you already you just forgot the good dancer now. He said his own lineage. Like, <laughs> no, the answer should be Achuta Gotra. After taking Diksha, <laughs> you have to give up your uh, conception of your body, with your lineage from your family. You have to think now your lineage is Achuta Gotra. What is the meaning of Achuta Gotra? Achuta means that person will never fall. Like God, Krishna is always never fall down. He never falls down. Infallible. That's why the Gutra, the lineage of the Vaishnavas is called Achuta Gutra. Who is Achuta? Swayam Bhagavan. One name of Bhagavan Vishnu is Achuta. He can never fall down. If one time you take shelter of Bhagavan Sri Hari, he will never fall down. This is a verse of the bank is very beautiful. You should remember this this look and you feel the bliss. This verse is so beautiful. If you, you have to memorize the sloka, memorize the sloka. Shukadeva Goswami Pada, he said, Hey Maharaj Paraket. Just by remembering the feet of Bhagavan. The jivas can deliver from this material world and go to the Nitya Dham, eternal abode of Lord. Asai means the root of all the karmas. They are destroyed. If only you remember the feet of Krishna. Through karma. Punya karma tropaius deeds. Externally, the sin of the jiva is destroyed. But actually, this desire for making karma will never finish. Until so the desire for karma is in the hearts of the jivas. So the jiva will continue coming again and again to this material world. It will come and go. But see, these shlokas explain about the glories of Bhagavan China, means the mar- symbols in the lotus feet of Krishna. If one time you remember the feet of Krishna, all your karma fall will be destroyed. This karma of asana, this karma will not stay in the jiva's heart. There's only one reason why you are wandering this material world. Which reason? And the karma of asana. From all the time of this karma of asana, this desire for karma, the jiva is wandering this material world. <coughs> Great rishis to destroy this karma. They are trying many things. They tried many things. Some they are making fire sacrifice. Some are making austerity. Austerities, tapasya. Some they are doing too much penance, but their desire for karma doesn't finish. Their karma vasana. But the devotees, what do they do? They only early in the morning after waking up, they think, remember the lotus feet of Bhagavan. What do they remember? Oh, in the lotus feet of Lord, there are symbols, flag. Ankush, elephant gold. 
many kinds of marks and if you remember these symbols you are free from karma so beautiful early in the morning after waking up remember about the marks and the feet of krishna all the samsara chakra automatically will be destroyed because in the lotus feet of the lord there is a there is a chakra a disk have you seen so if you remember this disk all the samsara chakra will be destroyed I remember the lot of the Bhagavan Vasudhi. He's asking the saints, they come for the karma or for the desire of Lord? Buddha says, the Vaishnavas, they come for the desire of Lord. The Shuddha Vaishnavas, they come from transcendental world. Nityadham. Just to free and deliver the jivas, they come to this world. They come by the desire of Lord. And by the desire of Lord, they again go back to the transcendental world. <laughs> Ramana Chandra is defeating this philosophy of Jati Bodhi. means about caste and race. Example of Ramayana. Jatai was a bird. You know that when Ravana kidnapped Sita, Jatai was a bird. So when Sita was kidnapped by Ravana, Jatai tried to, tried to save Sita. And he even fought with his wings. He fought against Ravana. And Ravana, he cut, he cut his two wings. And in Jatayu, he fell from the sky. Then Bhagavan Ramachandra, and he fell from the sky. Then, before crossing the... So anyway, Ramachandra, he saw Jatayu after... When Jatai was already almost dying, all his blood coming out from his body. Then Bhagavan Machandra took Jatai with this bird on his lap. So Jatai told to to Madame how he had made friendship with the Sharat Maharaj. But Jatayu could not tell properly what happened. He could not tell which Ra, which direction Ravana took Sita. He he, he 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 died in the middle of the speech, you know. He died on the lap of Ramachandra Jatayu. He could not finish his speech. And Bhagavan Ramachandra he took this transcendental body of Jatayu and burned his body. If Jatayu was a normal bird, Ram, Ram, Ramachandra would not, would not make this. If someone thinks that Hanuman is a monkey, is also offense. Does someone worship a monkey? No. If Hanuman was a monkey, who would worship him? That's why Bhaktivinoda Thakur he wrote a beautiful kirtan. Do you remember this look? I forgot. These kirtans we are not chanting, so we forget the verses. Oh, mind, why are you thinking you are 
You belong to this case, to your Brahmana disciple. But you belong to some caste. Who came in Bandar Kul, dynasty of monkeys, Hanuman. And he was the devotee of Ram. And Vibhishan came in which uh, dynasty, Raksha school, dynasty of demons. But you see how he served Bhagavan Ramachandra. Pralad, he came in which dynasty? Also, demon dynasty, demon dynasty, Raksha school. You see how Bhagavan protected him. He's a kirtan of Bhagavan Ramachandra. And this describes very beautiful. In the Bangla Gita Gucha is there, this kirtan. Have you read this? Do you have a Bangla Gita Gucha? The Gita Gucha in Bengali? No? Areman, I want something. So you can take birth in any any dynasty, any lineage. But if you take Diksha Mantra in the lineage of Vishnu, you are Vaishnava. That's why. Like a Vaishnava. So, so Ramachana gave a, like how did the Maharaj also give uh, so much honor to Vidur? You know, Vidur was the son of a maid servant. And also, how Ramachandra gave honor to Jatayu, like he was a Vaishnava. It's offense also if you think the good is an ordinary person. So there's a very special thing of the Ramanuja Sampradaya. So uh, they always follow so much the Vidhi Marga, the rules of worship in Lakshmi Narayan. Bhakti Vinatak also he wrote. If you don't follow the Vidhi Marga, if you don't follow the rules of the scriptures, then we cannot actually enter the Vraja Raghunaga Bhakti. The person who doesn't follow the rules of the Shrutis and Smritis, Narada Pancharati. And the person doesn't follow and he thinks, I'm I can't take it back. Some people from Babaji Sampradaya they are like this. They, they don't even follow Chaturmasi. They don't follow Chaturmasi Vrat. They don't even use sacred thread. No, it's necessary. We give up everything. Why follow Varnashram? Why follow Varnashram? They think like this. They even give up the Varnashram. Because Mahaprabhu said, Now we Tata, Mahaprabhu told him, Rai Ramana Samvad. Rai Ramana Samvad, Mahaprabhu said this. Rai Mahaprabhu, when Rai Ramana said this about Varnashram Samdharma, Mahaprabhu said, This is external, speak more. So Babaji Sampradaya, they say, oh, see, Mahaprabhu said this is external. And that's why some people, they are like this, some people from Babaji Sampradaya, they don't follow the rules. So in the Archan Deepika, from the Guru Sampradaya, 
और सतक्रिया सदीप और जो सतक्रिया सदीप का बुक मैनिफेस्ट बाय गोपाल बट बिस्व सतक्रिया सदीप का एक्चुअल दिस वाज टेकिंग सो मच फ्रॉम द श्री संपदाय फ्रॉम साउथ ऑफ इंडिया दिस लोकस गैदर फ्रॉम श्री संपदाय फ्रॉम रामराज आचार्य एंड देन दे मैनिफेस्ट दिस बुक गोपाल बट गोस्वामी गोपाल बट गोस्वामी एक्चुअली ही वी यूज्ड टू लिव इन साउथ ऑफ इंडिया so he collected from these books of the shri sampradaya he collected all these rules shlokas from vidhi bhakti and he gave to sanatana goswami and then sanatana goswami pad he gathered all these shlokas and under the guidance of the because of the order of mahaprabhu sanatana goswami he wrote hari bhakti vilas A book about Shuddha Sadhacharya Vaishnava. Actually, Gopal Bhatt Goswami he collected this book from this book Hari Bhakti Vilas, which is about the pure behavior of the Vaishnavas. Vaishnavas Shuddha Sadhacharya Vaishnavas Shuddha Sadhacharya. If you don't read and try to follow these rules. about the good behavior of the vaishnavas how can we understand the bhakti so this lordy we are just like according to the time of the christians we are like uh, maybe not following these rules and i remember the time of navdipa dam you see you know pranam kar rahe hain uski us taraf brahmadai pranam karte na Our Mukunda Prabhu is the senior Vaishnava was being pranam, and another Brahmacharya also doing pranam in the same direction, the same line like this. Some Mukunda Prabhu and another Babaji also used to um, chastise this new Brahmacharya who did in the same time. But these things we forget. So this Lord, this Shuddha Sadachar, we are forgetting this. I've seen. I was new at that time. And our Purushottam Baba Ji Maharaj, and another Baba Ji Maharaj, he used to follow many rules. Oh, Uddham Manti Maharaj also was there. As soon as like all these Vaishnavas they left, like disappeared. And now where, where, where can find? So all these rules slowly, slowly, they are becoming, they are hid, hiding, like they are disappearing. Nobody is more following these rules. Nobody knows. Nobody. So now I have to follow the rules. If a higher Vaishnava is doing pranam in that direction, the sannyas are doing pranams in this direction. So slowly, slowly, the Vaishnavas are do, also doing in this direction. There is a way of doing the pranam in the Pranam Gauri Amat. All these rules were there. I think these rules are not falling nowadays. Slowly, 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 slowly. Don't know that the poison is. Everybody is getting to Ragamarg, no? Nobody is following these rules. No, no, no. We have to follow. Later, I ask about exactly this. I couldn't see. So if we they don't, don't follow the rules, how can we achieve the Shuddha Bhakti? So Ramana Jachari showed all these rules. Especially the Pancha Samskars, five Samskars. Udra Pundra Dharan, Tilak. Udra Pundra Dharan means use Tilak. Even you don't understand the word. What does it mean? Urda Pundra Dharan means to use Tilak. Have to have a spiritual name, the name of Vishnu of the Vati also. So, have to have a spiritual name, no? a name related, related to Lord and His devotees, and also chant holy names, serve Takurji.
Before they was given the tap mudra. Tap mudra is one kind of. They take the iron and then and something written in iron, you know, like some prints in iron, and they make very hot and put like a print in the skin of hot iron, so it stays the mark. <laughs> okay. It's called Tap Mudra. So Ramana Sampada they had these conceptions how to follow the Shuddha Sabachari. Because if you don't follow the Shuddha Sabachari, you're not following the rules, how can you get the Bhakti? So all these conceptions. Just speaking, speaking, you know, cannot get any fruit. First, you have to follow by the man. How to honor the Guru Vaishnavas. Honor everyone. When you used to go to Navdeep, Devan Gurimat was full of Vaishnavas. After the Hanabi, after the Parikrama, we have to go to the room of each Vaishnava or some Vaishnavas and do pranam to them in their room. Here also in time of the Gurudev also, Gurudev, they, there used to be a line after Aditi to do pranam. So all this is going away. You think, oh, I am Vaishnava, you are also Vaishnava? And also our son, Hari is Vaishnava. So we are three Vaishnavas in the family. We eat the jackfruits. You know the story? Of the jackfruit? Baksan Prabhupada told this story. A beautiful story, Baksan Prabhupada told. One person, he took a Diksha Mudra from a Guru. That, that person was very generous, but his wife was very miser. You know, miser person. So they, they, this man went, went to brought a big jackfruit from market and told the wife, "This jackfruit is so big. Let's offer this to Takuji and there is a temple nearby. Let's serve the Vaishnavas of this jackfruit." But the wife said, "Look, who are you every day doing the Vaishnava seva already? Who is Vaishnava?" The wife, husband asked, "I'm Vaishnava." Hari, I'm Vaishnava, you are Vaishnava, and my son Hari is also Vaishnava. What's the need of feeding other people? So, I'm Vaishnava, you are Vaishnava, our son is Hari. We are three Vaishnavas, and we will eat the jackfruits. Have to serve the Vaishnavas. Okay, but they didn't say, but what he meant is like, you should not think I am Vaishnava, you have to serve the other Vaishnava, not think you are the Vaishnava. So when he was preaching in Sri Rangam, what time I had to stop? I have to speak more, only more five or seven minutes, please remind me. When Ramanacharya was preaching in Sri Rangam, the Pujani of Sri Rangam. By seeing the picture of Ramana Charja, he became angry. The Pujari of Sri Rangam, he became angry and then tried to kill the Ramana Charja. And you know, in the Charanamita of Bhagavan, the Pujari put poison, mixed poison in the Charanamita and gave to Ramana Charja. How does the Charanamita of Bhagavan take? 
But uh, Ramana Chacharya took and nothing happened to him. I should not speak something, otherwise my tongue will be, will be, I should not speak something, otherwise my tongue will be contaminated. Some people say many things. If coming in my ear, I say Vishnu, Vishnu, I should not even repeat that thing. So people saying opposite things or things like not true, like, but there's another view about Gurudev and Maharaj. So some people say they try to kill Prabhupada, Bhakti Nasu and Maharaj. Some people say they try to, to give poison to him. Those people who say this, they're offenders. Because Bhakti Nasu and Maharaj, he is Mahabhagavat. They give poison to Pralad and Pralad, Pralad make that nectar. So Bhakti Nasu and Maharaj, he's poisoned. They think he can be killed by the poison of someone. In YouTube, some people are saying this, that Swami Maharaj was killed by poison, but is it all useless stuff. Some people, they have this. So you see, he took the poison in Charanamita, but nothing happened to him. So Ramachandra defeated many sannyasis. One is sannyasis. And then again, he gave Diksha Mata to them, like after they surrendered to, to him. <coughs> Just like in the beginning when he was his Jadavachari was like his guru in the beginning of his life. But in the end, after the same Jadavachari who tried to kill him when he was young, he also surrendered to all those feet of Ramanacharya. Ramanacharya gave mercy to him and again gave him Sanyasa Mantra and Diksha and his name became Govinda or something like that. All of this also described. This you can see this transcendental life of Ramana Charja. If we study the life of their child and listen about their lives, we'll be able to have this enthusiasm in our bhakti life. That's why you have to listen about the story of the life histories of their childs. If we listen Bhagavad Gata, maybe we have some doubts. Isn't it? For example, Krishna did Ras Lila. People have doubts listening to this. They insult Krishna and say like, bad things about him. People with demonic nature, they don't know what is Ras. They don't know who Krishna did Ras with. Krishna did Ras with the gopis. That time, the rasa was not something bad like that. The rasa of them is not something bad. And also nobody knew. Actually, only after Krishna disappeared, then the first time, Shukadeva Goswami told the Parikit Maharaj about the rasa. No one was speaking about that before. No Vishnu Varajavasi knew. That's why it's written that. No Vrajavasa had envy or jealousy for Krishna. Nobody was against Krishna. No, no Vrajavasi. All those gopis, they are not ordinary ladies. Krishna was doing the rasa with the gopis, all these gopis. They were all harikaras of Krishna. Sadhana Siddha Nitya Chutichari, Munichari, Rishichani. When, when Ramachandra went to Janak Puri, just by seeing the Lord Ram, all the ladies of the Janak Puri, all these ladies, 
they in their heart they feel so much eager in their heart to attain Ramachandra is like a husband and by Ramachandra's mercy all day they were born in Vrindavana is like gopis also the Sarana Sita the golden Sita of the five sacrifices of Ramachandra all of them these golden Sitas they also were born in the upper jungle in house of gopis and all these Sadhana Siddha Gopis, they had the influence of the association of the Sun, this Nitya Siddha, the eternal Parikaras of Krishna. And they anurag them, manifesting their hearts. And then Jogamaya arranged, then they were eligible to enter the Ras dance. So, what is the meaning? If you don't have too much anurag, big attachment, you don't have eligibility to enter Ras. You cannot attain just by being born from the womb of Gopi. It's necessary to have body of Gopi and be born in Braj, this stroke, but also you need to have the association of Nitesh the Parikas. Then as a result, Anurag will come in your heart. But if you don't have too much Anurag in your heart, then what happened? Yoga Maya stopped them to go. So when you see the gopis, they were able to go. So the last days, but some gopis, they were going. And on the way, what happened? Husbands and other persons stopped them to go to residence. So they locked them in the house, being very angry with them. But these gopis, they were suffering so much in separation of Krishna. Then from their inner heart, through Yoga Maya, they enter residence. There are many subtle conceptions about this Vishnu Chakvatapada explained. What I want to say is, when Krishna is with us, it's not with not any lady with material body. No, he was not with us with material ladies, with material body like this. The bodies of the gopis are transcendental. Some people don't know about Gopitata and they say like bad things about Krishna or anything. What I want to say is maybe you can feel any doubt when you listen about Krishna's pastimes. But if you listen about the Acharya's life history, you cannot have any doubts, like any doubt will not come to you. That's why you have to listen about the life history of the, of the Acharyas. Then no doubt will come to us. Why? Because the Acharyas, they follow all the rules. And showing to the Jews of this world how to do the bhajan. Krishna told only, like he always spoke about it. Manmanabhava. But how to do the puja and how to worship really Krishna. Krishna didn't show. But the same Krishna, he came in the form of Gauranga, in the form of Mahaprabhu, and showed how to do the bhajan, showed to the jivas of this world. If you yourself, if you don't follow the rules, you cannot influence others, not teach to others. So, you know, Basya, commentary of Chitin Charitam, explains. Maxim Prabhupada explains what is the meaning of Guru. Guru is directly the personification of Krishna's service, the service to Krishna. It means he will show us how to serve to Krishna. The Guru, he follows everything. He, 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 he shows his disciples how to serve to Krishna. Yes, I'm saying, yes, we are the same. I'm saying, even saying, 